quickly. All right. Yaga, uh, no, that's Southern Road. That's Yaga, Moscow. Tumultuous Land, Section 20. No quest, or no battle, begin the quest. The Tumultuous Land. Surprised this wasn't the name of one earlier. Night, today, today, tonight. Oh wow, it's actually transitioning through the time. That's kind of ridiculous. Be funny. Well, assuming the vicinity of the capital, this should be the closest we can get without the Opera Gate detecting us. They will, Billy, once we park the border, I would like you two to find bike coins for everyone to ride. It is imperative you do so before daybreak. I'll have a master take a quick nap in the meantime. Miss Musashi, you and I will keep an eye on things here. Alright, see you later. Give my regards to your beauty. I mean, master. So I'm on bike coin you too, huh? Yeah, right. Whatever. Uh, don't worry, this will be easy. Okay, we'll be back soon. Alright, be careful, everyone. Yes, be careful, everyone. Be very careful. It's so cold, I can feel my breath actually freeze. Yeah, I'd be dead in no time if it weren't for a servant. Man, it's beyond freezing out here, isn't it? Sashi, aren't you supposed to be on standby in the command room with Holmes? Oh, that? I slipped out while no one was looking. There's nothing for me to do there anyways. Besides, I wanted to talk to you. Mind if I sit next to you? Um, no, that's fine with me. Girl talk? Girl talk. You've been to America and other countries in the Northern Hemisphere. And more places in the Southern Hemisphere and the tropics? Amazing! But exactly where in the tropics? Guam? Indonesia? Huh? Nope, it was actually Hawaii. It was a really lucky break for me that they speak Japanese there. They even had an udon restaurant. Maru something or another. Anyway, Hawaii was the best. I didn't get along too well with their goddess Pele at first, but we were good friends by the end. Oh, you're such a seasoned traveler, Musashi. It's like you could reach up anywhere and fit right in. You, you think? I mean, I'm always getting into some sort of trouble when, it's like when I have to dine and dash. I seem to enjoy all the commotion. And always find a way to overcome it. I really admire that. I mean, I could never hope to do that. I used to look forward to visiting all sorts of places outside Caldea. But now the idea just fills me with dread. I understood that reading about things and actually experiencing them completely different. And yet, I used to be, used to be able to fight. But now my shield heart feels unbelievably heavy. I'm finding myself scared of people in this Lost Belt, and how they live their lives. And I see, so that's why you haven't been able to go on, on the front lines. You know Sol used to brag about you all the time. I remember once he told me, Mash is the best healer in the whole world. There's no other goal in the world I trust as much as her. That's the truth. And that made meeting you kind of strange. I thought what happened to the strong girl Sol always told me about, but now it all makes sense. I'm sorry. I know I'm only one like it's providing more support. I hate knowing I could be out there fighting as a servant if only I could get from, out from under this fear holding me back. Hmm? So it's fear keeping you from fighting, huh? In that case, isn't it out of your hands? I mean, who in their right mind wouldn't be scared to risk their life in battle? That's not really something you should feel bad about, you know? Huh? You mean you're scared too, Musashi? Even after seeing so many worlds and surviving so many invincible, impossible things? I well, she didn't really think you thought of me as some kind of unfeeling gorilla woman. I mean, sure, I love fighting duels, but I've never not been scared to risk my life. Hell, when you get right down to it, the only reason I fight at all is because I, all I know, I, it's all I know how to do. If there was something else I was good at or something else I wanted to do, I'd give up the whole dueling thing in a heartbeat. And in fact, I, I mean, the fact that I'm still drifting around aimlessly just shows that there's no more, more than a scoundrel who can never find their way to live, but never mind that. For you, it's different. You used to be able to do this, and now you can't. Before, you were able to give it everything you had, but now it feels like you just don't have anything left to give. And that right there says it all. You guys have never had to battle, fight a battle where the whole world wasn't robbing, rooting for you. You've never been in a fight where your opponent loathed you, bystanders despised you. Even though what you were doing might have been the right thing, or if you were fighting to save countless lives or from something terrible. When it gets, when it gets down to it, though you start battles, they're all about making your problems someone else's. And that's always going to make your opponents unhappy, no matter how it shakes out. And now, you're here in this world of polar extremes and you've never experienced that. I'd be more surprised if you weren't having a hard time of it. Then what should I do? Do I need to shut down my emotions off like some kind of machine? Is that how you've overcome all the obstacles you've had to face, Musashi? Not really. I don't care what my opponent's problems are. I just tell myself that everyone's got their own stuff to deal with, and that's that. So, if I ended up cutting them down endless easily, 
then that proves I was right and their battle's over. And if I can, can't do that, then they have defeated me. It proves I was wrong and that's it for my battle. That's just sort of good for nothing, Swordmaster I am. So I guess what I'm saying is that I'm not really going to be much of a help to you, Mash. See, so I'm the only one who can solve my problems. Still, I can't help but think. Are we really doing the right thing for this world's history and the Yaga who live in it? Doing the right thing, huh? Well, whether you are or aren't, you're just going to have to get past it. If it gets down to life or death choices, you'll find the answers pretty clear pretty quick. That's when people start showing you who they really are. Still, your worries are important and just as valid as anyone else's, and you shouldn't be afraid to leave them. That's all I can say for sure. Really? All this time I thought I was just wasting opportunities. Thinking about things is never a waste. If you actually did shut off your mind, it'd that weaken you more than anything else you could do. Sure, there might be times when it seems physically like you've got nothing left, and you can't save anyone on your own. But there's nothing more exhausting than the constant feeling that you should be doing something when you can't. I mean, sure, some people end up so overwhelmed by guilt or indecision they end up becoming a burden, but that's not, uh, that's not you. You're the kind of person who turns all that fretting into your own strength when all's said and done. So please don't feel like you're doing something wrong by worrying about this sort of stuff right now. Worrying is just what you need to be doing. Trust me, people like you need to be... Trust me, people like you are some of the scariest opponents you can face. Misashi. Anyway, this isn't the sort of problem you can solve in a day. In the meantime, you've got me. Indeed we do. And when we face off in the terrible, I plan on replaying for all the help I got in Shimosa and then some. Good to hear, Musashi. Good to hear. And that's the first section done. First section. That's the first part done. Nice and easy. A little lengthy, but hey, it's story, so I can't complain. Yaga Moscow. Bazaka and Assassino. Beowulf is the support. You know, why not? Let's, let's bring Beowulf into the mix. You know? Could be fun. Could be fun, you know? You know? You know. Caldea had some little group of mages chosen for the aptitude for ray shifting. Of these mages, Team A was the head and so was head and shoulders above the rest. Kristaria Wodime, the prodigy said to be the true successor to the Animosphere legacy. Ophelia Fermasulon, the modern day Valkyrie. Scandinavia Pepperoncino, a man that's shrouded in mystery as he is cheerful and well liked. Barrel Gut, a mage who seemed more like he belonged in a gang. Kuto Hinako, a tactum misanthropic engineer who somehow got along well with everyone. David Semvoid, a man who seemed like a hole in reality itself. And Mash Carlite, the sole successor of the Demi Servant Spirit experiments. Yep, we knew Mash was a success. Like, so that makes me the eighth. Calyx and Lupus. I know a little and capable of better than the others. My magecraft is mediocre. My family history is practically non existent. Our bloodline only goes back 200 years. Nothing worth being proud of. But I still was chosen to be a master. Not for my lineage or my spell work, but for the power I was born with. Power! I already felt like I wasted my life. So hearing they needed my help was the greatest joy I could imagine. After I came to Caldea and joined Team A, I think my pride and inferiority complex positively exploded. Every single member was an absolutely top-notch top -notch talent. Masha Kyrolite was a test tube baby born and raised in Caldea. She was more like another piece of equipment than a person. Kadok, you best shut your mouth. I bet she was on par with the homunculus. She may have had the same rights as any human. But nobody had any expectations as far as personality or achievements went or which, where she was concerned. A real mage like Woody May must have thought um, just having her around was good enough. I agree, of course. Neither me nor David nor I could interact with her more than strictly necessary. Although I think Peppy and Ophelia used to invite her to eat with them, saying she was one of the girls, it bewildered her more than anything. Okay, Pepe and Ophelia, I like you too. Even though I know nothing about you, you treated Mashu nice. I like you too. Even so, Team A needed her. The other members all had an abundance of strengths because of their ability to raise shift. But not me. That was the only that was the one thing I had. <clears throat> Excuse me. All I could do was cling to the lucky coincidence that I just happened to be able to commute to high quality servants. Aw, oh, poor poor Caddick. 
Get over yourself, man. Oh, come on, there's no coincidence. Being good at other things isn't necessarily leading you to the right person to restore humanity, you know. That's just as true even if you're bad at other things. This is how it's supposed to be. Think about it. Destiny has practically smashed you your door in your door here. Oh, what's an image? What oh, what an image. So, the only thing you, my friend, need to worry about is how you make your destiny yours. Once you do that, Kadok, you'll be well on your way. Me? Oh, don't you worry about one bit about me. Destiny, I've always been on the outs. But you, you're just getting started. Think about it. The first line of protection for humanity itself. Who wouldn't dream about that? It's the closest any of us could get to a real live superhero, right? Then Peppy clapped me on the shoulder as if to tell me to shape up and stop feeling sorry for myself. Usually I don't like people invading my personal space for some reason. I could never seem to get angry at him for about it. He was right. I had my own destiny. So all the humiliation and bitter regrets I had leading up to this point. The most notable dis characteristic pastors? Well, that's hard for me to say, being the unparalleled genius among geniuses that I am. But if I had to say something, I'd say casters are just as difficult to command as berserkers, but in a different sense, really. I mean, I'm one of the good ones. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? A true mage is so caught up in their own thoughts and craft that they don't even see people as people anymore. So don't even think about asking one to teach you their secrets. Your sense of which magecraft will, is will be so different, they may as well be from another dimension. Yeah, that figures. But even so, I'll still go with a caster. Ideally, after they've learned to supply themselves with magical energy first. Lazy! I stepped into the coffin, doing my best to deal with the feeling in my own mind of being undone. Soon, my journey to restore humanity will begin in the little Japanese town of Fuyuki. I asked Kudo about it, but all she had to say was that it was nothing special. Maybe so, but there's gotta be something going on there that I can't let my guard down. Now's the time to show everyone what I can do. Prove I was chosen for a real. Boom. Ugh. So much for that. It was all meaningless. My life was stolen from me before I had the chance to prove how useful I could be. I didn't even get a chance to take the first step. Still, at least now it will be over. No more of this inferiority complex shit that tormented me all my life. Or at least that's what I thought. Ah, he's hearing of our accomplishments. He deserves to hear how much he wouldn't have been good. Is it gonna be the wife who bait servants from each singularity? Okay, no, um, Okay, it's not. Okay. The city saved humanity. A single completely ordinary boy. The very bottom of the barrel we can't recruit just because we needed to fill a quota. Who who just happened to be the only survive one to survive the explosion? He got to take the stage that was meant to be ours and accomplish something so great that no one could ever deny his worth. Normally, I could just ignore that. I could just tell myself not to compare myself to anyone else and just let it go. Normally. But when I heard that, I was overwhelmed by the strongest jealousy I'd ever felt in my life. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's just not fair. That could have been me. I could have done everything he did. Could have done it better. Circumstantial change confirmed. I have a proposal for you chosen ones. An offer for those of you who are cast aside. I heard a voice that wasn't my own. A voice of calm it. So dispassionate, in such stark contrast to the gravity of what I had to say. If you desire some acclamation, then choose rebirth. If you desire insolence, then choose eternal sleep. It makes no difference to God. What kind of choice is that? Any living being would value their survival above anything else. The other six all made the same choice, so each of us was given territory in a heroic spirit. I'm descend upon this world from another. The tree of emptiness will reset this world. From there, it will create new mythology. Crush proper human history. Construct new gods with your own hands. Create laws that are capable of accepting me. My territory, my lost belt. It was a 21st century Russia. Art in the temple still rules supreme. The caster assembled with Anastasia Nikolovina Romanova, the tragic descendant of the Romanov dynasty, and the last spirit's legacy. But things here can't stay like this. The way of life here is completely at odds with the rest of the world. The Yaga life cycle is slowly but surely speeding up. And that broken excuse for a czar is planning on invading the other lost belts without letting the tree of emptiness take root. That can't ever happen, so I'm going to take him out. I'm going to put an end to this centuries-long reign and save Russia from this tyranny. Not for the young sake, but for hers. Ah. Uh, I don't mind either way. Well, no, I suppose that's not true. 
I hate them. I hate those innocent humans who killed me. Nonetheless, I'm human. I'm a Romanov. I'm not Ivan the Terrible. So even though I shall always carry this hatred and never again lower my god for as long as I live, I will unite this Russia and see that it enjoys peace that is both the Romanov's wish and our solemn duty. When she said that, she looked every bit at the Empress she aspired to be. Fine with me. If that's what she wants, I'll do everything I can to make it happen. I'll use anything I can get my hands on and triple on thing that stands in my way. I'll even figure a way out to do something about Ivan the Terrible who lives up with his name in every way. If he finds out what I'm up to, he'll have me brutally tortured and see me die the second time in my life. But I don't want to die again. At least he'll be as miserable as my first death. Alright, Kadok, it's time to make a stand. It's time to grit your teeth and face your fears. Remember, everything you're doing is for this world. Hmm. I'm surprised you let me live. Imagine Kadok wants to keep as many servants around as possible. He has his own ambitions and his own mountains to climb. The more pawns at his disposal, the better. I remember something now. Back when you fiddled with my memories, you told me you would let me see Amadeus. I said that to die. All the time. I thought that Amadeus was on proper human history side, but he wasn't. He was nowhere to be found among their ranks. They hadn't even hit, seen or heard of him. He's not here in Yonka Moscow, nor is he with the rebels. Is it that he now is never summoned? Is it that he was never summoned here to Russia in the first place? No, well, that's not right. He was here at one point, I'm sure of it. In which case. Oh, I see you've eliminated all logical possibilities then. Well, I suppose that must mean the time is indeed right. Yes, we were keeping the great prodigy here. He even took you to his room once. You what? You are, in fact, the one who wished for this. To be honest, I'm reluctant to wound like that. But this is what you want, and I am honor bound as a man of God to comply. Slayery, the men agree, who willingly cast aside his own sanity. Allow me to unlock the memories you overwrote of your own accord. Come, the time for the Requiem is upon us. Hmm. Slayery's already killed Amadeus. <laughs> right, think this here will be where I get off. Got it. Go out there and give him hell. I'll damn well try. Well, Master, guess this is adios. Good luck taking down Ivan the Terrible. I'll meet you later. Of course, that's soon when I come out of this alive. I'll hold you to it. I'm not gonna pinky promise. Aw, oh, don't worry. I swear on my mama's grave. Of course, I gotta admit that since I've been somebody, I can't remember for the life of me what my mama looked like. But I do remember that I had one. And this ain't me saying thanks for that or nothing, but playing distraction is the least I can do for you now. Well, this is it, the moment of truth. We've got no idea what we're in for, but we're gonna do this it's now or never. No prep, no practice. Gotta say, you don't seem very two-faced. Eh, you guys are all here, you'll keep me safe. Well, now this is kind of embarrassing, huh, Lady Musashi? Yeah, can't let him can't let him down now, can't we? I know that. Come on, let's do this thing. Let's. It's almost time, anything you want to say? No. You look troubled, having second thoughts, feeling caught between a rock and a hard place. In doing this, I'm betraying the future. No, you're not. We're the ones who betrayed. Betrayed. I just want to show him that his actions have consequences. And if he has any conscience, I want him to make amends. Deep down, you know we're in the right. So you want me to bear this shame? You can call it shame if you want. Me, I think you should be proud. Right. Can we really be sure he'll come? You must know he's at a great disadvantage. He will come, I'm sure of that. His actions to date speak for themselves. If we're gonna do this, I wanna turn the tables on everything. All at once. Right, Avisbron? Oh yes, I suppose this must be quite the thrilling story of a much wronged underdog emerging triumphant, at least as far as you're concerned. You're right about that. You're wrong about that. There's nothing thrilling about this for me. This is simply a demonstration. I'm gonna prove once and for all that I can do everything he can do and more. I see, well this is goodbye. It's time I met back up with Soul after all. Hmm. Cowardly, sensitive, bold, cunning. I must say, master I must say, my master is anything but dull. I'm only third rate at best. I can't leave any stone unturned. Well, if it's any consolation, I don't dislike that self-deprecating side of you. I'm not being self-deprecating. I'm just being honest. Koyan was still here. Koyan was still here. I would have to keep, her eye keep an eye on all the key points. It looks like that little minx isn't in Russia anymore. I suppose she decided early on that we weren't worth her time. Fine with me. I'm used to being written off. I'll go ahead and announce the execution is about to begin. That way we'll know where they'll show up. What was that? Porchbeck. Then you can make it to me. I speak for the Tsar. You must not trouble him, no matter what the circumstances may be. Yes, your Imperial Highness. A servant has appeared in the southwest Yaga, Moscow. He's attacking every opportunity in sight. 
Master? He said a servant. This is only one of them. Yes, sir. That's just diversion. Ignore them. We can't do that. We have to our sword to kill any who defy the Tsar. This is the sole reason for our existence. Alright, alright, I get it. Then just make sure you deal with this quickly. Do not wake the Tsar up, no matter what. Yes, sir. I think I've got a lot better. You truly are a glass half empty type, aren't you? Well, the Empress Gear are damn inv near invincible. They should be able to handle a single servant. If they use the emergency prerogative, it won't be too long before they send his head rolling. <laughs> Gotta reload. <sighs> damn it, how many does that dick now? I've lost count. 100, 200, maybe it was closer to 300. Man, damn good thing I'm a servant. If I went for the whole limitless ammo thing I got going on, I'd be down to use my fist, harsh and language at this point. But talking limitless things, looks like there's no end to these operations to either. Ooh, that's insurmountable odds. I ain't half bad at guerrilla warfare, but this ain't. But this is a call, goddamn order. Hey y'all, don't despise your mind giving up. It's skedaddling around time soon, would you? Let's see, I got two at one, my one o'clock. We have my seven, another one at my four. All right, Billy, just take a deep breath, whistle a little tune, and make sure you're good in the hand city. Hey, I almost forgot that something else I wanted to ask y'all. Damn it, missed one. Ow, you little. Panting like a damn dog here. I get the feeling I must have done some. This sort of planet back in the Wild West, while being scarce as it was. Damn it, that smart. Don't know what I was thinking going to this one alone. I'm an idiot, plain and simple. Still, I'm the only outlaw around these parts. If I'm the odds were against, one against me, I wouldn't be me. That said, this ain't no picnic. Don't know that I can take them all on alone anymore. I wonder if that all that nonsense DaVinci was going on about could really help. Oh, what did DaVinci tell you? You mind if I tinker with your gun? Huh? Where'd that come from? See, I'm a genius without peer in history, but I still can't do anything with weapons that were forged by gods or legendary smiths. After all, weapons like that have their own origin in mystics from a long time, from a time long before my own. Of course, that doesn't stop some cheesy, cheeky hero experience from other, from modifying others' weapons. But that's for another top. That's a topic for another day. At any rate, your thunder came off an assembly line, so I can work my magic as if it, were, as it were on for on you. As I could have it, that's a, that model's a particularly rare find. Mass production may have succeeded at standardizing the quality of most goods, but every now and then, an exception still manages to sneak through. As I could have it, that weapon of yours just so happens to be one of the finest specimens anyone could hope for. But that help from a genius like myself, that's all it'll ever be. I gotta say, I might have found all the weight and balance of my gun as it is now. No, you only think you are. Let me have a look at it. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. By the time I'm through with it, you'll be able to shoot through anything and everything. Those magical bullets really do wonders. The only catch is, you'll need to be ready to handle this modified gun's kickback. You ready to raise your spirit origin another rank? Ooh, interesting. There's only one way to activate it. Concentrate, overcome, and keep on moving. Look to the limits beyond limits. Head for the light and that, bur that lies bare beyond. Set your sights on the horizon and keep running. Mount your horse and keep heading straight forward to glory and destruction. All right, let's settle this up, Rishiki. No animations for the bullets? Darn. Ooh, he ascended. Nice. Mm-hmm-hmm. Done out a lot bigger than I thought, but the grip still feels as good as ever. Heavier now, though, but suppose the proof balance offsets that real nice. On top it off, it's got three times the destructive power. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, then, Opportunity. Y'all better not be coming around here thinking I'm the same old bit of the kid you've been messing around all this time. I ain't. Now show me what you got, you yellow-bellied shits. I'll sh gun you down by the thousands if I gotta. Whew. This is a long story bit. Confirming last soul's coordinates. Confirming infiltration into Yaga Moscow. You're coming in loud and clear on our end, Beowulf. Do take good care of our master. Holmes, why are you here? Oh yes, the girl's off getting treated into Vinci's icy so she can transform into a servant. Given how close we are to the enemy territory, there's no telling when they might be able to try to attack the border. So I suggest she go and prepare for battle, just in case. Even if she can't fight on the front line, she can at least stand in front of me and hold a shield. That's her job for me, though. 
She's the one supposed to hold a shield for me. <laughs> what? What? Why are you looking at me like that? I'll have you know this is a perfectly reasonable plan. Pardon me, Gordolf, but I suggest you keep an eye on the mountains to the north of Yaga, Moscow. So old Gordolf is right. Miss Carolet is receiving a tune-up of sorts from Mr. Vinci as we speak. Miss Carolet is most insistent upon it. She said she wished to be a fight as a servant in the event that circumstances called for it. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Please don't glare at me like that. This happened after you left for Yaga, Moscow. If all goes well, there should be no issue whatsoever, so please focus your efforts on rescuing Miss Atalante. Personally, even if she were able to transform again, I still have no plans to include her in our combat ranks. Nor do I have any intention of sending a servant out to the front lines, her output has dropped so dramatically. I will only send one out there if I'm certain they are capable of dealing seeing their mission through. Even if that means stopping her from rushing to your aid when you are in a dire predicament. Do you understand? Then please focus on the task at hand, Mr. Soul. Got it. Of course, of course, of course. Of course. Very good. Let us continue us let us consider our current situation. It seems we still have some time before Mr. Lante is scheduled to be executed. Billy and Beowulf's fighters have begun their diversion. There are fewer Operation here in the capital than we had foreseen, though there are still quite a lot. Now, is there anything else in particular that stands out to you? It's warm. They say the Tsar's power keeps the blizzard ra from raging too hard in the capital. There is some truth to that. This part of Russia is a lot nicer to live in. I don't see many onlookers. Maybe they're all afraid of the Operation once the Operation can be fighting, I imagine any crowds might, that I've gathered to watch won't stick around for very long. The problem is, well, the most urgent problem, I should say, is the enemy's servants. Of them, we must be especially wary of one in particular, not the priest, nor Koyan, nor Anastasia, nor Ivan the Terrible. It is, in fact, the Minotaur. His position will determine our opening gamut. Now then. The Minotaur defeat saw the court mage not too long ago. This may be rude of me, but old-fashioned humans really do have such interesting faces. Let it be known that the leader of the rebel army is to be executed by beheading. Unfortunately, as we don't have a guild get in here, we'll be doing something special for this execution. Oh. Uh, farewell, Adelante, leader of the rebel army. Well, this is fortunate. It would seem luck is on our side. I mean, he's right here, I suppose. Our first most pressing order of business is to rescue her. Uh, it is imperatively not separated. What, therefore, we shall our next course of action be? Right, right. All we need to do is get close. A Sirius may have some measure of intellect, but, but from my observation, the Minotaur is not. Which means that a plan which would never work on the former should succeed on the latter. This makes him a perfect target. Are you ready, Soul? Let's do this. Well done. As you have proven time and time again, you are always at their best when the matters are at their worst. Alright, let's charge it head on. Sounds good to me, Musashi heading out. So you're just gonna bear in there with no plan at all. It's insane. Give it. Yeah, back away, Patsy. Oh, well, let's get a little closer. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Patsy, that's right. See, I know they show up. Oh, in the last few seconds, if I got caught up in a certain battle, so I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know, it's time for you to make a choice. I don't care which one you go through it with myself, but if you want to see me out here, you know what you need to do. Stay back, Master Caldea. Alright, Patsy, I think it's time you skedaddled. You can just find somewhere to hide and sit back and enjoy the show. You don't have to tell me. I'll go and find a hiding place right now. So you're here. This time I'll eat you for sure. Because that's so if you can handle me, then I'll just take your best shot. But I should worry, not even the dragon was able to choke me down. A hey, call out to his mates. Okay. So let us see, let us see, let us see. One or two. Leading with Yapnichki. Uh, technician's advice to start things off with. I realize that bringing Beowulf here 
might be making things a little bit more difficult since he didn't have a CE on him, but I will live and learn. That was actually not bad in so far as MP gain. 20% with no arts cards. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Just grunting there, Bale. That arts card did shit for damage, though. With a crit. Like, that was surprisingly little damage. Okay. It's gonna be risk it for the biscuit, but come on, Waver. I need some crit stars here. Come on. Come on, get a kill still. Kill? Nope, he's not gonna kill. Tarnation. So close. Yeah, it's fine. He didn't generate much in the way of um, things, anyways. I uh, gotta go with Bale here. Need that NP strength after all. All right, 17 stars. It's not bad. Fatal battle against the Minotaur. Single target. Scared? Of course you're scared. I'm going to eat you. He's got two axes. Also, we got good Bayo things. NP strength increase. Damn, Bayo. Didn't know you could do that. Intuition. Okay. He's got guts. He's got glory. He has style. He has grace. This Kong has a fun face. Alright, Bayo. Let us see what you can do. Do, do, do. Why is he grunting? He's able to talk. Ora, ora, ora. He did the ora, ora, ora. Nice. Oh, that's what he's saying. He's not just grunting. He's saying ora, ora, ora. Sounds like grunting. <laughs> Nearly knocked Bayo out there, Minotaur. I'm not gonna allow that. Good. Good, come on. Yes. First bar down, second bar up. Or not. That's battle done. Okay, okay, okay. And just some QP. Again, I like how they give large amounts of QP in these quest battles. It's very nice of them. Okay. Story component? No. Tumultuous Land, Part 3. Unknown Servant. You gotta go with the Unknown Servant, you know? You just gotta. I mean, who could it be? Their gold border me no, it wouldn't be Anastasia betraying Kadic. I guess there's another figure. Another um factor to factor in. You have food! Yay! Food! What kind of food? <laughs> you look good enough to eat. I'm picking up a spike of magical energy. He's about to use his noble phantasm. Now do it. Alalante! I told you to stay back. Chaos Labyrinth. What in the world are you? Alright, so far so good. Now. Hang on, don't move a muscle. Just got through my shackles, impressive. I'm just glad it worked, my fingertips are feeling a little numb in this freezing cold. Now I see. So you allowed that Minotaur to use his noble phantasm on purpose in order to rescue us. Yep, they said kicking the enemy's asses could wait until after we rendezvoused with you. Everyone good? No. This is only a few of us. There's still children on the other outside. Get a hold of yourself. Why should you gonna head first? We'll solve nothing. The best thing we must do is take down the Minotaur. The rest of you will remain on standby until then. Make sure us so all stay safe. Yes, boss. Alright, now comes the hard part. We gotta actually... At Kito. <laughs> there you are. Anyone who's not a servant, get back. This guy's no joke. Once we start fighting him, we won't be able to worry about you too. Damn it, I knew it. He's even stronger than before, because Slum gives him a serious home field advantage. 
So if you were hoping that surprises steam out of the labyrinth, you've got another thing coming. Let's find out once and for all if you are worth your photo than Grendel. He's probably not. You know? He's probably not. He's been corrupted. The poor fluff has been corrupted. It's a sad day. Sad day indeed. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Another double wave. It's Adelante! Why was she listed as a mystery servant? Game. I've fought using her before. She's not any higher leveled or anything either, so... Why, game, why? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Did Adelante literally just generate 10% Noble Phantasm from a Buster attack. Damn. Go, Lip, go! Go, Lip, go, Lip, go. But, that's good. Somebody worthy managed to put him down. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Dark Aspirations. Charge by two each turn? Um, I'm gonna say no to that. Buff. Buff to all heck. The Minotaur shall fall before our might. Crit strength. Uh, let's see how many stars we get. That's 100%. Definitely need the crit strength buff. And beyond Arcadia. There we go. This should do nicely, I think. And we'll let Waver get the other attack, you know. He's he's fine with it, I'm sure. Not bad, not bad. And the buster is... Not enough. Wow. Okay, that's actually kind of shocking. He survived a buster. Holy crap. I am honestly a little bit out of a loss for words there. He survived an NP and a max buff buster crit. I mean, yeah, Adelante is not really built for Buster, but even still, that's damn impressive. Alright. Covering fire. Nothing happens, except for he murders Merlin. Yeah, that, that was Merlin you just killed. Um... Thankfully, though, we've got some NP chaining we can do here. Even if she doesn't have all the buffs, she's still plenty potent. Hopefully, at least, we can NP chain. Hopefully. I think the arts critting should be enough. <laughs> Not much, that's unfortunately likely. Nope, not quite there with the NP. Hey, Mordred. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hobby things, hobby things. Hmm. And nice face there. That's a nice face image. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, it looks like a face. Or a head, I suppose. I can see the eyes and the lip. Do I even recognize it? Uh. The hair. 
Oh, oh, I, okay, that's, is that Ilya? Is that Ilya from that prison? That looks a little bit like Ilya, with the hair. Hey, I knew it, I'm a brilliant, brilliant person. My brilliant, brilliant mind was, of course, able to recognize such a face. Because I am brilliantly brilliant. Who does that push their hair back thing, by the way? It's an anime character, I just don't know who. Or maybe it's David. He has it look to him. Bye, Rash! Thanks for stopping by. Melt. Um. Yeah, that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we gotta do this. Several Chuni characters. Oh, or Chani? Ch was that meant to be Chuni, or is that? Or did you mean Chani? Boop, 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 boop. Yes. Not as strong of an attack chain, but still. We do what we can. Still not enough. Minotaur is tough. Bye, Lante. Lante, Lante, Lante. And I think Melt should be capable of finishing this. Go, Melt, go, Melt, go. Go, Melt, go, Melt, go. Also, I should have brought Abby here. I keep forgetting that foreigners like Shrek Berserkers. Why do I keep forgetting that? Why? I guess it's because we haven't really had any Berserker bosses recently. Except for Minotaur. And even then, I suppose he wasn't too hard, so... If he had more break bars, maybe he would have been, but... Meh. Try this up for size. Oh, not yet, not yet. I haven't eaten anything yet. I Asterios. Ah, flashbacks times again. Abby's in the back line and Orion. Mm -hmm. Orion useful for this uh, singularity? I suppose she would be. Are the up are the up Nichiki being considered male? What was that memory? Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Nobody ever looked at me like that. I wish it had been that me. Bond level character because you like them, then because you don't like them. I see you defeated him. I apologize for tardiness. Who goes there? Avisbron! Avisbron, you're a soul servant, right? What are you doing here? I suppose you might say I've been caught up in the whirlwind of all this, so perhaps that I jumped in on my own accord. To be honest, the circumstances are far from ideal, but if we don't do exactly what he says, they're only going to get worse. I'm Beowulf. Abbas Braun, what are you saying? You sound like you've gone over to the enemy's side. Perhaps I have, it's complicated. I don't know, I don't care, but probably yes. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I can't explain right now. We simply do not have the time. With Minotaur gone, there's no one left to claim the ownership of the labyrinth. Now that magical energy required to maintain this miraculous relic from the Age of Gods is gone, we should soon be able to escape. However, if we act now, we can use this labyrinth for our own means. What are you talking about? You want to turn it into a golem. Bond Ryan so you don't have to bond her. And I bond Abby because you like Abby. Ah, okay, I get you now. I do. It's a relic from the Age of Gods, so it would make a perfect body for a golem. The only question to be answered is, what do you do about its core? The Golem Core. I you know what that is. It's the thing that powers a golem and makes it function, isn't it? 
You have all your bond, all your five stars bond ten. Oh, that would take a while, but I'm sure you can do it, man. I'm sure you can do it. That's right. I've been worrying about what to use for my next golem score for quite some time. The only, the only ones I've been using in combat so far are mere replicas designed for the briefest of use. These replicas do not do require a vast amount of magical energy, but that's all they require. Unfortunately, they alone will be enough to defeat Ivan the Terrible. I got a glimpse of him before the rest of you. Galaxum Loop has shown him to me. That thing is utterly inhuman. He's a primal being that kind that must have existed on this planet long before humans ever did. It would be impossible to slay a monster like that with such imp impermanent forces. So then, what should, can we do? How should we fight such a fearsome opponent? If we cannot find an equally powerful entity for the core, then... Hmm... It's so, but I have long dreamed of recreating the primordial man. And you're saying you would aid me in that goal for exchange for my assistance? Exactly. As luck would have it, we have an amazing asset on our side. And I'm sure you'll have the opportunity to use it sometime very soon. Because you see... I see, that does make sense. So calm down to, I'll come down to timing. Does that mean you're on board? I certainly am, especially now that I finally understand your goal. If you can provide me with the materials like that, then the only other thing we need is the core. The core. Why not? I'll take care of that. Most of them are already around there. That's good. My only choice, is, you see, is to become the core myself. What? Wait, what? Abyss Braun? I have a confession to make. Among the lives I've taken, one was a child. Oh. You can't just drop that bomb on us and then end the section there. Well, that's the end of that section. We are closing on the end. I think there's only two sections left, so I'll pause my speaking for a moment.